Hilo may have just released the best image to video AI yet. What's special about this AI video model is the complete control it gives over your AI films. From getting the perfect camera movements to the exact character animations you're looking for. This is the cinematic quality you can get from the newest Hilua O2 model. To understand what makes this AI video generator so impressive, let's do a comparison with the other popular video platforms. First, let's compare it to Google VO3. I specifically want to focus on image to video, where we start with a reference image and turn that into an AI video. This gives us a lot more control over the specific way that the characters look, which is important for consistent characters and also the visual style. In this first video I generated using Hailoa, I started with this image of a witch. She raises her wand to cast a magical spell. The camera pans towards a wooden barn and it suddenly erupts in fire and collapses. So it's a pretty complicated sequence of events to animate. What happens if we try to do this in Google Veo 3? Veo 3 is really not great at image to video. If you try to animate too much motion, it turns into these PowerPoint slides or it'll suddenly swap the scene to a new image. Here's another example where I started with this image of a druidess riding on top of a horse and the camera tilts down to reveal a burning city underneath the hill. This is what I can get using Hailoa. If we try the same thing in Google Veo 3, the cool thing about the Google model is that it does create AI sound effects that go along with the video, but the quality of the animation for the image to video isn't very high though. Another problem you'll run into when trying image to video in Google VO3 is the censorship. A lot of the times if you try to upload a photorealistic image of a person to turn into a video, it won't allow you to actually animate that into a video if it detects a person inside which is obviously not ideal for AI filmmaking. So for the VO3 comparison, as far as image to video goes, it's pretty clear that Hailoa comes out on top. But let's compare it to a closer competitor, which is the Kling 2.1 models, which is another AI video generator that specializes in image to video. Again, this was the video I animated in Hailoa of the witch raising her wand to cast a spell and setting the barn on fire. Now, if I try to animate this inside Kling, in the Kling video, the barn doesn't fully collapse like inside the Hailoa video, so there's not quite as much motion that's generated here. To achieve a higher level of camera control, to actually direct the AI videos exactly like we want, we'll need to take advantage of this director's mode that you can use inside Hailoa, which gives us a lot more control over the exact camera movements, which I'll show you how to use later in this video. Here's that shot of the druidess looking down the hill at the burning city. I'd say both of these actually turned out pretty well. There's a small town on fire underneath. Finally, here's a Hailoa video of my character and I animated her in this swamp. There's some creatures that pop out, give her a scare and she'll run off. You see her stumbling around in the swamp a little bit. Now, if we try the same exact thing in Kling, it actually does a really good job of creating the skeleton soldiers. At the end, the running motion though, it doesn't seem very natural, it looks a little weird. So I'd say for this specific example, Hailoa also comes out on top. So now let's take a look at how I actually created these incredible looking animations. The first thing we'll do is log into our account. Then we'll head to this video tab to use a new AI video model. Now. From here, it's already set to image to video. So what I'll need to do is upload a reference image, which it'll turn into an AI video. I think I'll go with this image of an ogre inside the forest. And then the prompt, I can give a very, very detailed description of exactly what I want to happen inside the video. I want him to pick up a tree branch as a weapon and scream out in anger. Then dirt and moss should fall off of him. It should also create some kind of an earthquake looking effect. So let's go ahead and generate that. And the results are pretty incredible. I mean, this is another level as far as AI video is concerned. It follows my prompt correctly. The character is consistent. There's tons of movement. What's also impressive is this shaky camera that kind of gives the earthquake effect I was looking for. Now, there's a couple different settings we can use when generating these videos. So I use 1080p, which is full HD resolution and created a six second video. But there's also an option to use a lower resolution, which will be cheaper. And you can generate all the way up to a 10 second video. 
So that's exactly what I'll try. So I got this image of a skeleton dog. I'm going to tell him to slowly crawl forward. Uh, and then his bones fall apart and the dog collapses. Kind of like in a horror film. Again, overall it's a super impressive animation. It slowly crawls around and ends up falling over. For me personally, I typically like making the longer 10 second videos more just because it gives me a little more video to work with. But what's special about Hailua is its ability to follow the prompts at a higher level compared to other video generators. You can be incredibly specific in the exact actions you want to happen inside the scene. We can add in new characters like this hawk landing on the man's arm. Ask for this young king to raise his arm as his servants kneel on the ground behind him. But beyond just what you can control using the text prompts, there's another level of control we have over the videos. And that's done using the camera control feature inside Hyboa. So I'll start with this close-up shot of a skeleton soldier's head. I'm going to tell him to raise his sword and scream out. And I want an army of rotting skeletons to walk up behind him. Now I also want to introduce some extra camera movements into the prompt. The best way to do this is to use this camera motion control feature right here. You'll see a huge list of different camera movements we can add into the video, whether that's circling around the subject, uh, the camera tilting up and down, all sorts of different cinematic shots. I want to go with this debut camera movement where it looks like it kind of circles around and zooms in on the subject a little bit. So let's click on that. And you'll see this new keyword added into the prompt truck left pushing pan right and what that is is a pre-made camera motion it's adding into the prompt so if we generate the video we'll get to see this very nice looking circling effect around the subject it zooms in on his face it also follows the prompt exactly like we wanted he raises his sword and screams out while there's an army of skeleton soldiers following in behind him and i mean the visual style is absolutely incredible now every time you generate a video, it's going to give you something slightly different. It won't be exactly the same. So I ran the same exact prompt again, and this time you'll see much more of a rotating motion around the skeleton. It does a 360 around him as we see the soldiers fouling in behind. Here's another example I generated it with a crane shot type of motion. The camera flies above and tilts down and reveals this guy reaching his arms out. There's a bunch of bones below him. Kind of a perfect shot for a horror film. When we can combine this huge variety of different camera movements with Hailua's really strong ability to follow our prompts exactly, we can create just about any video we can imagine. So let me walk you through the exact process of how I might create the exact video I want. So I'll go with this image of the witch and in the prompt I'll say the skeleton witch raises her wand and sets a rotting wooden barn on fire, cinematic film. So to get the exact camera movement that I want, I'm actually going to add the camera motion in the middle of the prompt. So the skeleton which raises her wand, and before the part where I say sets a wooden rotting barn on fire, I'm going to add in that camera movement. So let's go ahead and put in the pan right, right in the middle of the prompt. And what this will do is actually split the prompt in half, where the first part is the witch raising her wand, the camera then pans all the way to a rotting wooden barn. And that's exactly what happens. We see the witch raising her wand, and the camera does a full panning motion while shifting the focus to a wooden barn that's on fire. Still, the problem with this is that when it pans to the wooden barn, the barn is already on fire, while the exact effect that I actually wanted is for the wooden barn to be by itself and then suddenly erupt in flames. So to fix that, we can actually add in some punctuation. After I say the camera pans to the wooden barn, I'll put a comma right there. Then afterwards, I'll say the wooden barn suddenly erupts in flames. What this will do is actually split it into two separate actions. First, the camera will pan to the wooden barn. Then the wooden barn will erupt into flames. And that's the perfect shot that I was looking for. There's so many different ways we can use these camera motions in Hygoa. You can get super, super creative with it. And based on what I've seen, I really do think Hygoa's O2 model is the best image to video model that's out there right now. Now, if we take a look at the price compared to the other platforms out there, 
Google VL3 costs a dollar per video and their eight second videos. If we use the highest quality clean 2.1 model, it'll cost us around a dollar for a five second video or $2 for a 10 second video at full HD resolution. If we use Hilua, it is cheaper than the other platforms at around 83 cents per video at 1080p. These are gonna be six second videos or if you use the lower resolution mode at 768p, it's 52 cents for a 10 second video or 26 cents for a five second video. By the way, new users will get 500 free credits just for signing up to try out Hilua. Check the description for my invite link. If you want to learn more about how to write the best prompts inside Hilua's video generator, go look at this tutorial right here.